armed men parading their new weapons through the streets of Gar. They are in control here. Government police and army officers who had maintained some presence have now left this town and others in the southern province of Abiyan. We don't know who these men are. The government claim they're members of Al-Qaeda. Amidst the lawlessness, hundreds of locals looted an ammunition factory, setting off a blast which killed dozens of people, including women and children. Government officials say it was an accident but are blaming Al-Qaeda, using the incident to illustrate the dangers of a security vacuum in the country. But people here at least don't seem afraid. In the capital's change square, army soldiers and security officers no longer loyal to the president came to add their support to the pro-democracy movement. Defected soldiers told us the president's departure will end, not fuel the violence, which has persisted in the country for decades. This is a peaceful revolution. We'll protect Yemen from the chaos and internal wars. We have to keep this rally away from the powerful elites and their political agendas. The ruling party says the president should not step down before 2013, despite an earlier offer by Ali Abdullah Saleh to leave at the end of the year. But demonstrators want the president out now and accuse the government of inciting the chaos to scaremonger and deflect from the political crisis. As the uncertainty drags on, protesters are keen to make sure the momentum they've gathered in recent weeks isn't lost. Al Jazeera, Sana'a, Yemen.